So as part of my path renovation series, I'm having to deal with these massive yew hedges. These hedges are so overgrown that they're gonna have to be severely pruned back. And the thing about yew is that it can survive a severe pruning, but these hedges are so big that it's basically suffocating itself. You can see here, it's just all dying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prune them, um, not in their current shape, I'm basically going to strip them back to trunks and then just have the tops as the bush. So it's almost going to look like a line of trees or that's what I hope it's going to look like. It's quite a big job and it might be something that someone else is interested in. So let's get going. So before I begin, I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to use to do this. Now, usually I'd use secateurs, but because some of the branches are so thick, I'm gonna be using a reciprocating saw because I just want the cleanest cuts possible. Also, I'm gonna wipe down the blades beforehand because you don't wanna transfer disease. I'm also gonna be wearing my helmet for safety sake, as well as my sports goggles, so I can see. One more thing to note is the time of year. It's currently mid-April and it would be better if I'd have done this a few months ago when the ewes are dormant. But because of the recent weather, we have had a few frosts recently and it hasn't really warmed up yet. So should be able to get away with it, but it would have been better if I would have done this during the winter. basically gone round the bottom and just cleared it all out and then I'm slowly going to start working up but a load of it's cleared back and it's just revealed so much rubbish there's footballs ping pong balls fish and chip containers an old boots wrapper there's so much crap there so it's good to get rid of all that as well majority of the pruning is done I'm just gonna go inside and clear out some of the dead branches okay now I'm just gonna go over it with this hedge trimmer just to neaten up some of the edges It's not perfect, but it is way more manageable than it was before. I've probably taken about three quarters of the bush off, so it should be able to rebound from this. It's 
actually amazing when you get into it how complex all of these branch systems are. They are very complex. Obviously some of these still need to be tidied up a bit, especially these edges around the trellis and around this side near the path. Some of this has got to be taken up, but there's no point doing that until this path is redone. Also around this area, I'm thinking of putting some raised planters, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. And it's only gonna get better as the temperature warms up and it starts to, create more greenery. That brings an end to this yew trimming video. Now it was a very severe cutback and I'm happy with the results. Let's just hope that the yew can recover. Thank you for watching.